So this is kind of interesting. You know how when you go online and you click on things and they put up that big long terms and agreements thing and you're going, I don't have time to read through all this crap. Well, here are some things you probably wouldn't agree to if you had a choice. Maybe, maybe not. Twitter makes you agree it's not their fault if you get hacked. So even if there's a security breach and it is their fault, they're not responsible. LinkedIn. You ever use LinkedIn? That's a website people use when uh, you're trying to get a job and post your resume out there and uh, network with professionals. LinkedIn makes you promise not to lie about your work experience. There's a line that says you agree that your profile information will be truthful, and if they catch you in a line, they can delete your account. Instagram, if you use that, they make you agree not to stalk anyone. One section says uh, you can't stalk, bully, abuse, harass, threaten, impersonate, or intimidate people. Uh, Snapchat makes you agree not to break the law or put yourself in danger, meaning they're not responsible if you use it while you're driving or do something stupid like recording yourself on the edge of a cliff. And finally, Facebook, which is probably the one that most of us would use the most. Facebook owns everything you post. There's a section that uh, says you grant them a worldwide license to use any IP content that you post, which basically means that uh, they can use your stuff for promotional material and share it with companies. They own you. So watch what you're clicking on with terms and agreements.